we're on Fremont Street. We're gonna do a little bit kind of tour, first impressions so far. A lot of stuff to grab your attention everywhere you go. are that there is a ton of people so people watching is pretty easy uh, we got interesting stuff like people drawing stuff look at this crazy screen up there i mean that's look at that, that's insane uh this is i've never been to fremont streets so this is my first time but it looks like there's a lot going on everywhere you look so one thing you got to be careful for is that they'll have girls like that dressed up and they'll offer a photo with, with you, but then they're gonna charge you probably like 50 bucks to take a photo. So there's nothing to think about. Everybody clap your hands. Watch them, watch them, watch them, watch them, watch them. Oh, oh! This area, Fremont Street, is actually the real downtown area of Las Vegas. Whereas where all the famous hotels like Mandalay Bay and all that, that's considered the strip. So I always thought that that area was the downtown, but actually this is the real downtown Las Vegas. Pretty cool. One thing I've noticed is that I haven't really seen any kids here, just a few, but it seems like mostly adults. So maybe something to keep in mind if you have kids with you. Here, Quintanilla looks like very cool. Look at that right there! Wow, That's very nice. I really like the window light up above there. Adds for a bunch of natural lighting. This has a cool open vibe. 
just from observing all the architecture and everything that's in this hotel, I know it was a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars. But very impressive. Even the little details like the floor are very impressive. Very well done. Very nice, nice place. I'm sure the rooms here are superb as well. All of these flowers up here are made with glass too. That's pretty impressive. And as you can see over here, there's a casino area. So for those that want to gamble, looks like a big piano is playing over there as well. Let me take a look at that. Live piano player here. Pretty cool. So while you're eating, you can listen to the piano. That casino over there. Pretty cool spot. I think the goal of this place was to make you feel like you're in a European country, like France or somewhere because I mean as you can see the little details very reminiscent and if you look over there we have the Eiffel Tower so probably I don't know copying some kind of Italian style or French style but very nice as you can see that's an idea right there if it's raining keep yourself covered there's always gonna be people you know special characters to take pictures with when you're walking down the strip so keep that in mind if you want to Click a good photo, there's probably a lot of opportunities here to take photos. One thing about Las Vegas is that there's a lot of mimic hotels. So we're about to go into one over here that is mimicking Paris. There's also another one that mimics Venice, Italy. And there's also another one that mimics New York City. So kind of interesting. There's a couple of different mimics here in Las Vegas. Yeah. famous Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay. On our way to Caesar's Palace, pretty cool vibe. Not bad, good day to be walking around, not too hot out. So this spot's pretty cool. It's kind of like a reflection of Paris. So they got the same little style here with the Eiffel Tower in the back, got the lamps, pretty cool. There's like a big ball there that says Paris. cool. Look at the sky. Pretty cool. Not quite Paris, but still pretty cool. I like, uh, I like the feel. And it's a casino, so. Yeah. Pretty cool architecture. I like these lamps in here. Makes you feel like you're in Paris or something. I'm sure at nighttime it comes alive. Pretty, pretty interesting. A lot of stuff to do. A lot of lights. A lot of music. 
overall a lot of stimulation but thank you so much for watching hopefully you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe see you in the next week take care